Let's take a look at the sigmoid activation function, which is a logistic curve that resembles an S shape. So there it is. It can handle binary multi classification. So think cow, horse, pig, as we are looking at multiple types of classification. Uh, classification. We can now stack layers. Uh, we have ranges between zero and one. It tends to bring the activations to either side of the curve with clear distinctions on prediction. One of the most widely used functions. Near the end of the function, y responds less to x. So this causes the vanishing gradient. What we're talking about, we say vanishing gradient, like look at this, it just goes and it vanishes into the gradient. That's what it's talking about. The network refuses to learn further or is distractedly slow. So if values are over here, then you're gonna run into uh, some trouble. So sigmoid is analog, meaning almost all neurons will fire, be active. Activation will be both dense and slow, uh, slowly and costly. So think about that um, binary step, because if it's a binary step, it's either on or off. Because um, remember that the, the purpose of it is that if it's zero, it's not gonna pass data along. If it's one, it is. So because this, it, I mean, it, it could technically be zero, but like, even if it's here, it's a little bit on, right? It's always on, or it's, it's like really on, or it's teeny tiny on, right? So um, there you go.